What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Hope y'all are well. Hope y'all are having a fabulous week so far. Oh my god. I just woke up, y'all. I just woke up. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. I am tired. I didn't sleep much at all last night. So anyway, we gonna dive in. Oh Lord, I'm gonna dive right on in. Let me see. What's going on with Scorpio? Scorpio energy, please, here. What's coming in for Scorpio or what's coming in for Scorpio? <laughs> Show what it looked at. Man holding a coin. Okay. So something about a masculine energy could be significant. The garden and the gate. You may have to step outside your comfort zone with this though. Um this could be a person that's coming towards you, either wants to work with you in business, collaborate with you in some sort of way, or offer you an opportunity. Or this could even be a person that wants to date you, okay? Court you in some sort of way. And this person is very financially stable on their own. Some of y'all could be coming out of, uh, like, financial constraints, poverty, like, you've pushed through, like, like, a lot of hardships here. You found the courage, confidence, and strength to come to, come out of that and, like, build something secure for yourself. And it's like you're comfortable where you are or you feel like you have everything that you need. Like, you, you know, gratitude. You feel like. You feel like you have everything you need within the garden but spirit is uh bringing you an opportunity to actually step outside of your comfort zone and explore new things something with someone's throat chakra somebody could have like a sore throat somebody could have a sore throat Oh, excuse me. Okay, or somebody just needs to like speak up to balance something out in regards to some sort of stability or security. Because we got the first chakra, Archangel Michael. You're very protected here. Your security, your stability is protected. Your home life is protected. But you may have to speak up, speak out, say something with the stroke chakra energy. What's going on? What's going on with Scorpio? What's this man holding a coin about? No starting edge. What's this man holding a coin about, please, spirit? What's this man holding a coin about, please, spirit? What's this man holding a coin about for Scorpio? Ice cream, divorcee, mother, and discernment. Some of y'all could be a divorced mother, a divorcee, or a divorced masculine, or young lady. Some of y'all have young children, or something about this person that's in the like sporty cars, very youthful energy, someone that's uh could be younger than you. Something about that could be a significant what's 22. Let's see, this card can represent a woman who is cool and detached or a mother figure. It is a message to be discerning about relationships and clear-headed. Use your mind, not your heart. Take the advice from a female who knows about life. It can also mean that a woman has iced you out of her life or you need to ice someone out. Some of y'all need to take your emotions out of something and literally ice somebody out of your life. Could it be this young masculine energy, the hidden energy here? 
or you need to use discernment. Could have to do with money too, because we got the money card. Somebody could have put somebody in a third party situation. We got triangle, credit relationship choices, fun times, money, and young male energy here. Somebody could be doing something for money, having fun, partying for money, being young minded, being immature, something about a car or could be of significance. Passion, marriage. We could have been cheating in a marriage or hmm, something to do with the family dynamic. Some sort of family partnership. Okay. What else is going on? What's going on with Scorpio? Whoa. Spiritual growth and true love. So learning and expanding the soul and then true love. So Pure love and honest connection. There's bottom of the deck, home. Okay, something about somebody's stability, security, home, residence, family. Dating, communication, dating queen. Somebody could start dating again or whining, dining, romance. Somebody could be finding out, yeah, that somebody's breaking free. We have freedom, casual, being a single, and lightness, opportunities, dates, and abundance. Somebody may be like a single mom or dad, and they're dating. This could also be somebody just, uh, that home energy. Somebody could have just purchased a home, okay? Because this could be a businessman, so that could be like a realtor as well. Somebody could have just purchased a home and they're feeling free. They're, you know, getting back out there. Someone's had some sort of like upgrade, spiritual upgrade, where they've learned some sort of spiritual lesson in a situation. Let's see, this card either means you are evolving on a spiritual level or learning lessons through a karmic relationship or learning growth of what you want and what you don't want through your relationships. It can also indicate connections to spiritual retreats and healing vacations, especially if it is close to the travel card. So somebody's learning lessons here, whether it's you, another person, like it's you though. You're starting, somebody's starting to learn what true love is. This card indicates a pure true love connection. When it is surrounded by stabilizing cards, it can mean marriage is with your true love or something very close to your heart will emerge in your life. It could be a home, family, work, or children. Yeah, for some of y'all, this could be kids, a home. Maybe you like, you found a home and you want to purchase it. You're like, oh my gosh, I want this home. Like, you're thinking logically, like, I can, can I afford this? Da, 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 or some sort of property. Let's see. Let me see. Let me do this deck first. Could be property or again, family, animals. Okay. Clear for the ice cream. What's the ice cream about? Please, Spirit. Knight of Pentacles and Temper. So you're patiently waiting on something. You've been working on something for a long time. This is hard work paying off, productivity. Um, this is like routine, okay, responsibilities, and you're healing, you're balanced. It's like you're walking in your purpose, you're doing what you're supposed to. Some of y'all, you could be, now masculines, you could be this masculine energy coming towards this feminine energy, okay? Maybe you're wanting to offer her some sort of, uh, whoever's in the feminine energy, male or female, okay? But I'm just going to say it like this, um, Tarot has no gender, but the masculine energy, man holding a coin, could be coming towards this divorcee, ice queen type of energy, right? Offering some sort of support financially, uh, opportunity-wise, job-wise, or like a love offering. And it's something stable. This is somebody that is wealthy, you know, good in their own energy. And then this energy here, this ice queen energy, is someone who's been working on something for years, looks like, with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, has a lot of responsibilities, but still perseveres through each thing with the Knight of Pentacles energy. 
okay? This is someone that takes their time, um, very productive, you know, has some sort of routine. Yeah, look, three of pentacles. Somebody could be, this person is very good with working and collaborating together. And then with this, it's kind of like a, you know, earth angel energy with this temperance card here. This person's very peaceful, uh, very harmonious, you know, knows how to balance things out. It's like a tempered energy, very patient, knows how to do things in moderation, whether it's like money, finances, love, things like that. Because the Ice Queen is someone who's very in intelligent, has learned a lot, has knows how to use discernment. Because the ice queen has been through a lot, like to the point like the ice queen has been hurt. But it doesn't make her bitter. It just makes her wiser type of energy. You gonna get down? Some little legs. Nine of pentacles. This ice queen could definitely be single. The fool. Single, self-sufficient, independent, good in their own energy. Nine of pentacles and the fool. And getting ready to leap towards a new beginning here. Hand. So either this ice queen could be going towards this man holding a coin, or this man holding a coin could be coming towards this ice queen, getting ready to offer something to her. Tell me more what's going on in this ice queen's energy. Okay. Okay, well, the ice queen doesn't really trust somebody. <laughs> energy vampire, this person is draining your energy. Okay. So, whoever this ice queen is feels like this man holding a coin could be feeling like this man holding a coin is draining her energy. Or she knows to use discernment when it comes to masculine energies or people that come towards her with money and things like that because she knows that somebody can't be trusted, sketchy. There's something off about them. Look. I don't think I don't think this ice queen energy trusts this masculine energy bipolar disorder bottom of the deck. Somebody could be emotionally out of balance. So the ice queen, because the ice queen is in this tempered energy, she's able to use logic. Okay, she's able to see something spiritually because she has one foot in the water, one foot on earth. So not only is she stable and grounded, but her emotions are intact. She's connected to her emotions too, but she knows how to disconnect when needed. She sees something for what it is. Let's see, what's this? Knight of Pentacles with the Temperance. Overwork, someone is doing way too much. Yeah. Temperamental at the bottom of the deck. Someone could be... This ice queen could be overworked. Or somebody's trying to overwork this ice queen, but the ice queen is still balanced. Being sensible, you know, about a situation. Even though this person is trying to be overworked. Like, this could be a boss figure that could be, like, you know, really focused on money and doesn't really care about how much this person works. Doesn't care about how it affects this person as long as they make the money or... Unless they have an opportunity, single bachelor and temperamental catfish. Uh, somebody is single, but somebody's angry. What's the Knight of Pentacles with the Temperance? What's that about for Scorpio? Very disrespectful. Bottom of the deck, sexual connection, strictly sexual. Somebody it's like somebody's very disrespectful because something was just either a sexual connection or over a sexual connection. What's the Knight of Pentacles with the temperance energy? Marriage. Oh. Somebody could be married or somebody was married. This is, say this ice cream was in a marriage. This person, whoever they were in connection with in the marriage, they could have been very disrespectful to this ice queen. Uh, what's the Knight of Pentacles with the Temperance for Scorpio? Why are you so obsessed with me? Okay. And narcissist. There's a narcissistic energy here. Okay. So this Ice Queen could 
be very wise because they were married to narcissists. And during the marriage or during the connection or commitment, this person could have been very disrespectful to the ice queen. And so Knight of Pentacles, okay, Knight of Pentacles with the temperance energy, this could also represent like, you know, being efficient, handling responsibilities, but still healing as well. So whoever this is could be healing from narciss narcissistic abuse or a narcissistic um, partner that they were with. This narcissistic person could be obsessed with them or somebody's obsessed. Good child. Gamble taking the risk. Unwanted opinions. And total eclipse. Two souls merging together. Somebody, pap smear. Someone needs to get checked. Somebody may need to check their health. Stripped and cleanse, you're being purified by spirit. Wake up. Someone's about to receive a rude awakening. So somebody could have took a gamble or risk and listened to somebody else's opinions. Why did I just hear? I heard ba ba chicka chicka ba ba chicken head. What the fuck? <laughs> that shit was random. Two people came together, but, but somebody need to get checked. Somebody sexually ain't all the way there. Like somebody not somebody need to somebody could have said that somebody was sleeps around or something like that, but somebody's like being purified or releasing themselves from that energy. Maybe so okay. Maybe somebody attracted this narcissistic energy because they were promiscuous or because it was just a, it was a sex-based connection and it could have turned into something else and they realized that they got catfish. It was a narcissist and somebody could be waking up to that. Like whoever this ice queen is, they could have gotten, you know, it could have been a sexual-based connection and then this person could have catfished them into marriage and stuff like that and they ended up finding out that they were married to a narcissist. But now it's like, or that this person's an energy vampire. Like this person's a leech. And this person's slowly trying to heal. Slowly trying to get towards this balanced energy. And they've been working on it for a long time. Finding meaning. Finding purpose. But for a long time this ice queen has been in this energy. Knight of Pentacles. Tempered energy. While all of this stuff has been going on. There's or. There could also be a married couple that's like obsessed with this ice cream. Oh. Okay. What the? We have a few more on this, and then I'm going to end this off because we already have 18 minutes. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles with the Temperance. We have rejected. We have romance. So somebody could have rejected a connection or a relationship. Funeral, yeah. And somebody could have tried to like wish death magic on somebody or somebody wanted to take somebody out because somebody rejected a relationship with somebody or a connection with somebody. What's the Knight of Pentacles and the Temperance? Secret accounts. Somebody could be watching this person from secret accounts as well and mirroring. Somebody doesn't like what they're seeing. Somebody doesn't like to see this ice queen energy healing or being in this tempered energy or balanced energy. They don't like this. Too late, divine feminine. But it's too late. Whoever this, whoever this energy is, somebody has already tapped into their higher self. They, they're in this divine feminine energy. Somebody tried to stop this person from getting there or being that energy. Shocking news. Yeah. Feeling like shit. Something about a mother figure could be coming out. Somebody's not feeling too good. Somebody feels like shit or. Somebody may be finding out like no strings. Something about a mother figure. Bumping heads. Yeah. 
a mother figure feel somebody could be in an argument or like bumping heads there may be a situation where there's no type of strings attached or something like that and somebody's like they may be finding out that this mother figure is moving on or moving away or that it was too late to be with this mother figure and now somebody's obsessed They could be watching this person from a secret account. Workplace. Somebody could have had like a work. So if this person was married, this person could still be healing from a workplace affair. Or somebody, you know, but somebody still could be energetically trying to hold on to this energy because it's a tempered energy. What's spiritual growth? What true love? What's spiritual growth with true love for Scorpio? The chariot? And the moon, seven of wands. So now somebody's defensive. They're standing their ground. They're being protective of their energy as they move forward with the chariot and the moon. There still could be like unknown factors here. Things are still not fully seen. It's it's a mystery. Like it's a somebody's trying to move forward. They're trying to progress. They're determined. They have the willpower and the control and discipline to move forward okay even though there could be fear there could be anxiety there could be illusions but somebody is standing their ground on this like no i must move on i must move forward i must keep going tell me about this energy spiritual growth with true love always drunk in reverse okay somebody doesn't drink somebody doesn't smoke somebody's just trying to heal is what it looked like Dangerous karmic ties, but somebody still could be karmically tied to somebody. Making amends. Resolving a misunderstanding. No, no man. Can't trust them. So if somebody moves forward. There's somebody that they're karmically tied to. Somebody could be resolving a misunderstanding, but somebody can't trust another person. That's yet yeah, narcissist. Why the fuck this person keep coming out? Somebody has spiritually grown and knows exactly what pure, true, honest love is, what an honest connection and love is. And whoever this narcissistic person is that tried to like cover themselves up, they know I've learned my lesson. Somebody has learned a lesson about narcissism. Yeah, emancipated, liberation from all restrictions. Some, This person could be breaking free. Somebody could be trying to control somebody with money. Somebody could be trying to control somebody with money. They want this person crying, hot mess, always crying and has something going on. And then energy interference. Somebody's manipulating something behind the scenes. What's going on? What's going on for Scorpio? Ooh. We have smoke in reverse, okay? And chaos. The smoke is clearing. Whoever this person was that's smoking, they could be trying to quit a bad habit. But it's like somebody, will you stop? Let's quit, girl. Come on, let's go. Oh, hold on. Let me go wake up sissy. Okay, let's see. Let me go on and finish this one up here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so somebody, there's some sort of chaos. But I see somebody overcoming it. Grass looks greener, but it's artificial. Somebody's realizing that the grass isn't greener on the other side half truths they're not being fully honest somebody is not it's kind of like somebody is learning or growing from an experience and they're moving forward even though there's illusions um there could be fear some anxiety it's like you can't see what's going on you know it's treacherous or you know there's hidden energy here it's like you're still moving through it but you're being guided because in on the chair there's two sphinxes and they uh kind of carry you through this so it's like you're in control or spirit is in control of this vessel for you and you know once you're in that chair and you're moving forward I, nothing can really stop you but you well, somebody could be dangerous because it said dangerous karmic ties and so somebody could be trying to resolve some sort of misunderstanding because something could be getting very bad here but they can't trust them oh my what is going on 
Like there could be like a somebody could be learning. about a connection that somebody has, but it's not a healthy connection. It's, it's dangerous. Like it's a, a sensitive, I heard time sensitive or sensitive. What's the spiritual growth and true love? Trap. Somebody's trying to trap somebody. Secluded. Psycho X. There could be like a crazy X or something. Separation reflecting soul searching. Somebody could, somebody could have dealt with a very very toxic ex and it's like they're moving forward regardless or trying to move on they're finding the determination and willpower to keep moving forward even though they're going towards like the unknown towards a mystery towards the unseen like it's illusions things aren't clear quite yet and in the moon like the, the wolf and the dog they're sitting here howling at the moon but there's a lobster behind them that can attack them anytime but oh my gosh this is like someone turning their back and trying to walk away from um, someone only for that person to like try to stab them in the back or like, but it's, it, but somebody's determined to move on or move away from this because they know I can't trust this person. I've learned my lesson, but somebody's trying to keep somebody trapped here. What's the spiritual growth with the true love? But somebody's in this chair and I'm telling you, wish. Somebody wants their wish fulfillment or somebody's wishes to keep somebody trapped or first storm. Karma, drama, endings, loss, mental breakdown. Somebody doesn't want somebody to move forward or to move on or what's going on? Spiritual growth and true love. Spiritual chaos, ego death, downward spiral, spiritual awakening. Somebody could be like coming out of a dark night of a soul. Getting into alignment with their higher selves. Yeah, turning your back. Somebody's turning their back on somebody and deciding to go through the spiritual awakening. Go through this ego death. Let me be honest. Phony trickster and illusions. Because, yeah, somebody's realizing that somebody lo uh, loves fail. That somebody's been under a love spell. I miss you. Living in the moment. Illumination, truth, discovery, awakening, and bad news. And that could be bad news for somebody that somebody has been under a love spell. That somebody was able to sweet talk them while keeping secrets. That something's not what it seems. And that's why somebody's trying to move forward or move on. Maybe something's coming out about why a person is moving away from something or someone. Why somebody wants to make amends with another person, but the other person can't trust them. There's some sort of energy manipulation here. This is crazy. This is crazy. And it all is surrounded by this masculine energy with the money. Or a job opportunity or something like that. Somebody's wishing that somebody would change. Or go through a spiritual awakening, but somebody's like it's it's a it's a a fairy tale. Like like somebody wishes like I wish that I wish this person would just change, but they're not gonna change. A narcissistic person can't they they don't change. It's rare. I don't know. I hope this resonates with somebody. I'm gonna post it, but it's Kind of like dark and ominous. Like, what messages do you have? Yeah, Somebody's trying to maneuver through darkness. Like, this is like somebody's still trying to move forward, and somebody's like throwing energy. Like, and then you can't really see what's coming. You can't really, you don't really see. It's like moving in the darkness. You don't see what's behind you. Don't, you don't see what's beside you. But all you know is you're on this chariot and you're trying to move forward. You know the direction you're trying to go. You know you're trying to depart from this person. But you don't know exactly where they're at trying to attack you. I don't know. The month of September could be a significant. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. 
the month of April R Virgo could be significant Q what's going on I'm going to Scorpio we have an Aries L Taurus I just heard locker. Something about a locker could be a significant February. Aries. Anything else? Okay. I'm going to leave it at these last few in. Black man or woman. Minivan. Dimples. Blue, red, white car or truck. And somebody could be in their 40s and 50s. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there. Scorpio. Uh, this is a very, very tricky energy. White man or woman is at the bottom of the deck. So, all right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. This is what I have for you. I hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.